This is Phil Chandler and today I want to show you the follow-up. No, this is Phil Chandler. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> All we need it now is a couple of cows to walk mm. past. Here. <clears throat> this is Phil Chandler and I'd like to show you the feeder arrangement in the end of a hive. It's a nice simple way of setting up a feeder for maximum flexibility in the end of a hive. So, the parts to watch out for, this is the lid, this is a cover, and it's simply, its function is simply to cover the space over the feeder, so other things can't get in there, particularly wasps and other bees. So it's just a simple piece of uh, plywood, it happens to be 100 millimeters wide, and it's the length of the top bar. So leave that aside, and if you'd like to bring that camera a little bit closer. <coughs> Inside the feeder, you can see there's three jars. Jar number one, jar number two, and jar number three. Those three jars are what your food goes into, the sugar syrup that you're going to feed to the bees. And these lids would have little holes punched in them. They haven't at the moment, but they would have when you were using them and they sit over the holes in this piece of wood. This is plywood and it's cut to a length such that when it's dropped into the hive there's plenty of headroom for the jars. Okay, So those three jars go in there on top of those holes and the follower board has a hole in it down there. So the bee's going to go through this hole underneath and take the food that's dripping down from the lids on the jars. Now the, the crucial thing with this arrangement is to make sure that the holes in these lids are not too big and not too small. A good size for them is the size that a drawing pin or thumbtack makes when you press it into a cork board. If you press a thumbtack through that lid, it would be about the right size. You can experiment um, with different sizes of um, punch or nail or whatever to make the holes but it should be that when you fill that with liquid and turn it upside down you'll get probably you might get a few drips initially but then it'll stop dripping and you'll get little beads forming on the holes and that's how it should stay if you hold it like steadily like that and that's hold held in by um, atmospheric pressure of course holding the liquid in place in the jar and the bees can then come underneath up through the hole and they can drink from those drops as it comes through Okay. Very simple way of feeding and because it's got a lid on it like this, that lid closes that space completely so no wasps and no other bees can get into that upper space. There's no entrance in at all into that lower space except for the hole in the funnel board. That's the only way into that space. Okay, so this is where your this is where the entrance hole is on this particular hive. Um, doesn't really matter where, where the entrance is, it could be a central entrance, it could be uh, a towards the end entrance. Um, top bars, of course, start from here and work that way. So these um, brood areas are mostly going to be towards this end of the hive. So that's where they're going to be able to get through into the feed area, take their food, go back and store it wherever they need it. Okay, so that's it, that's the end feeder. Very simple, just that part three jars and that part. That's the only woodwork you have to do, those two things there, and make sure you have a hole, possibly more than one hole if you prefer, in the end board, in the end follower board, should I say, so that these can reach the food. And that's the whole thing. Um, the other thing you can do with this system is you can use exactly the same arrangement to feed fondant to the bees. If you prefer to use fondant rather than liquid, you can use the same board just put, put a piece of mesh over it so the fondant just doesn't disappear straight through the hole. A piece of coarse mesh over the top here, put the fondant on top of the mesh. Maybe put some um, cling film um, or um, saran wrap, I think the Americans call it, over the top of it to stop the water evaporating from the fondant. So that can go in exactly the same way inside the hive. Make sure you've got a cover over it, nothing else can get in there. Okay, very simple way of feeding bees. Okay, that's it, thank you.